For I see something here, and I see the, uh, the, the, the opposition leader of this nation having the heart of God. But I see many around who are pretenders. And God says, God says, surely you shall be exposed for I am calling on you my God is there everybody here uh, how many people are supposed to be here are there 15 people here you see this are there 15 are there 15 people how many how many are you counting how many how many is it supposed to be thus says it's, remain standing please remain standing please thus says the spirit of God God looks at the heart of man he does not look at the outward appearance. He does not look at what seems to be or what appears to be. For surely a leader has emerged. Surely a leader with my heart. Surely a leader whose, whose heart is likened unto the heart of David. This one I have appointed, says God. No man has appointed this one. I, the Lord, have appointed this one. And surely I have appointed godly counselors to be around. My God, I have appointed godly counselors to be around this man whom I have appointed, says the Lord. And the Lord says right now that those who have been appointed to be around the leader, they need to search their hearts. For God says, surely you need to search your hearts and your motives because surely it shall be the deciding factor, says the Lord. For surely, even as, you, even as you repent, even as you turn away from a motive that is impure, God says, surely I will cause those whose hearts are indecisive, those who have not made decisions, says God, between now and the time of the election, I will cause their hearts to come to this government, this people. God says, you're the ones to make the difference. I've already appointed my leader. My hand is already upon my leader, says God. My hand is upon the leader. God says it is those who are around that will make the difference. It is those who are around who will make the difference. And God says, surely, even as they seek me, surely God says, know this, know this, for I shall suddenly switch and there shall be a massive sudden turnaround. It shall be sudden, says God, even unto the point of the very day of the elections. And it shall be, says God, even as they walk into to vote, the, the plan to vote one party, they shall change their mind and vote the other. And know that as the election results start to flow in, though that it will appear as though a particular party is about to emerge and is about to win. But look and listen, for suddenly a turn shall come, a change shall come, and you shall see perfect will emerge in the nation of St. Vincent. And the gratitude says the Spirit of God, but it shall all be dependent on those who are around the man whom I have chosen. It shall be. I see her. Forgive me, but I can't. I don't know who you guys are. I see hearts, and I see some hearts. I don't, I don't know if they're here. They're not here. Probably not. I don't know. But I see hearts that have ulterior motives around the man of God. Ulterior motives. <laughs> ulterior motives. The Lord is... Who's the opposition leader? Which one? You are. Let me say this to you. There is a, there is, be quiet. There is a, there is a, a shh, shh. There is an anointing that you're going to receive right now. There is an anointing that you're going to see because God is going to reveal it unto you. God is going to reveal to you. God is going to reveal to you those who are likened unto wolves in sheep's, sheep's clothing. He's going to reveal to you the wolves in sheep's clothing. There are some who are, are, are amazing men of God in this group here. The amazing men of God. Oh, but there are, there are just a handful who are wolves in sheep's clothing. And the Spirit of the Lord is going to reveal that to you. You are going to go to them and you're going to tell them straight, Listen, turn your heart around now! And even as you do it, nobody else is to do it. Nobody else. It's not your assignment. It's the man of God's assignment. 
And even as you do that, watch and see a sudden shift. Oh my God. Oh my God. I see a sudden shift amongst young people. There shall be a sudden shift, says God, and it shall cause the hearts of people to shift toward you. Surely if you don't do this, says God, you shall have five more years of the yoke of iron. Five more years of the yoke of iron. As I stand here, you shall have five more years of the yoke of iron. If this is not done, says the Spirit of God. Even as I speak, I speak as a, as a servant of God and as a prophet of God. And that which I say shall come to pass as I speak. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you, God, that that which has been spoken shall come to pass according to not permissive will, but according to perfect will. Lord, as you have done it in Trinidad and Tobago, Lord,